Hello and welcome to BIMobject.com. My name is Matthew Jackson, Digital Content Manager here. So today I am presenting you the block set Revit Families by Schneider Electric. Now these are available in Revit 2014 and beyond and we have two files which are available to download today which diff have different types of uh, connections, uh, positions of where the nodes are and I'll show you these in a second in Revit. We have the front connection and we have the rear connection. So we'll just show you a little bit of the information on the product page first of all. Uh, we have obviously a picture of what this looks like in the real world and we have obviously a description. We have some links which go back to schneiderelectric.com, this is the international page. Uh, we have some related information upon where they are designed and manufactured. And we have the classification information here, various uni classes, omni classes, etc. So let's download some of these objects, I haven't downloaded them yet. And I'm currently using the BIM object integrated application uh, in Revit 2014. Uh, the application is available of course in 14, 15 and 16. So here I have downloaded uh, the object and because I'm using the app it appears directly at the end of my cursor which makes it really easy for you, the user, to uh, add RFAs into your file. So I can press spacebar and I can rotate this object so I'm going to place this uh, in this location here and place it and now that is done. We have uh, some 3D text uh, just to inform you, the user, that you need to contact Schneider Electric for specific internal system configuration. Uh, Schneider Electric are making BIM objects uh, as placeholders and to give as much information they can within Revit. But of course, some of these uh, uh, objects and products which are made by Schneider are very complex. So please do make sure you do contact your local Schneider Electric representative. We have here different um, parts of the geometry, and we have here we're shown in 3D the clearance zones, zones for access and zones for air circulation, which much must be adhered to when placing these objects. So let's click on this and we can go into the edit type information. You can see we do have a huge amount of electrical data um, regarding uh, its outputs um, and, uh, and its requirements. And we also have, of course, all the BIM object information in there as well. We also have a number of instance parameters. So we have door left and door right. So if I unclick uh, door left, it will change to door right. So if I just press apply here, uh, the clearance zone will now switch because we have changed the location of the door. I'll just do, show you that again. And now go to door left and that changes location at the front. Uh, as usual, we have of course a node going into the rear of this because if we've downloaded the rear object. And we can of course look at this in plan as well. So we go to level one and you again can see the clearance zone which is required as thus. And of course if I click on this object here as usual with the BIM object integrated applications I can go back to by pressing info and then of course I now go back to the block set page and I can of course download again uh, now um, a different connection which I need to add into my objects. And of course, we can see if this needs to be updated as well. All products are up to date. And of course, if you want to start adding classifications and parameters, then of course, go into the BIM object Open Property Cloud application. As well as all that information being on one type, we do have a number of different types available here, which are listed. And we have uh, high power, power control centers, and very high power LV switch. Um, and these are obviously described as the above. You can click on these, and there's a slight geometric change. And of course, all the data will change within the object. So that's it from us today at BIM Object. Enjoy using the block set uh, products within your Revit models. Of course, if there's any questions, please not hesitate in contacting us. And make sure you check out another video and another tutorial very soon. Thank you.